Hey, it's Sean with Battleborn Batteries, and today we're here to talk about rate of discharge and how it affects battery capacity. Over the years, we've gotten this question almost daily. And what the question is, what is the discharge rate of your battery? Well, the reason that we get that question is everyone's used to looking at a battery that's rated with a 20 hour rate, which is how they rate lead acid batteries. And it's kind of funny that they do that because I don't know anyone that discharges their battery over 20 hours. I know people that discharge them in four or five, six, seven hours, and then they gotta recharge them. The simple answer is rate of discharge does not affect the capacity of a lithium battery. The reason why is we don't have resistance in our battery. There is a lot of resistance in a lead acid battery, so much so it's affected by what's called the Pukert effect. So when you're pulling energy out of this battery, the higher the load, the less actual energy is inside. With our battery, it doesn't matter if you're pulling 100 amps or 10 amps of power out of the battery, the, the level of energy you get out of the battery is exactly the same, 100 amps of deliverable energy. With a lead acid battery, if you're pulling a 100 amp load versus a 10 amp load, the amount of power or energy that you get out of the battery is gonna be significantly less at 100 amps than it is at 10 amps. Just like if you say, hey, listen, I have a 300 watt load or a 600 watt load, you're gonna get less power. Obviously we know that because it's double the load, but it's actually significantly different because of the Pukert effect, which means the higher the load, the less actual energy you can deliver out of the battery. With our battery, it doesn't matter if it's an hour, if it's 20 hours, it doesn't matter if it's 100 amps or 10 amps, you get 100 amp hours of usable power out of the battery every single time. 